scientists discovered a bubble around our solar system. An incredible new discovery has been made about our solar system. It is surrounded by a giant protective bubble. Scientists have found that there is a region around our sun and planets that shields us from interstellar radiation and cosmic rays. This astounding revelation provides new insight into the environment of our cosmic neighborhood and may help explain why life was able to evolve on Earth. To start with, our solar system is situated in an area called the local bubble. The local bubble is a cavity in the interstellar medium, the material that exists between star systems in our galaxy. This cavity was likely formed by ancient supernovae explosions that swept out gas and dust in the region over 10 million years ago. The local bubble extends about 300 light years across, with our solar system right near the center. For a long time, astronomers have theorized that the local bubble might harbor a protective shell around the inner region containing our solar system. This shell would act as a barrier, absorbing dangerous cosmic rays and keeping the neighborhood of our sun calmer. But firm evidence for its existence had been lacking, until now. This month, in an astonishing breakthrough, scientists announced the discovery of the theorized shell encapsulating our solar system. The shell was found by examining high-energy cosmic rays called positrons coming from all directions in space. When cosmic rays hit the shell, they lose energy and essentially bounce off its edges. By studying how the positron energies were changed by these interactions, researchers identified the bubble's perimeter. This is an incredible revelation, says NASA astrophysicist Michael Offer. We always presumed the local bubble sheltered us from cosmic radiation, but this is the first time the shell has been directly detected. It's an important step in understanding our celestial environment. The team used data from the Voyager spacecraft, which traveled outside the bubble in 2012 and 2013. Voyager provided key measurements of how interstellar space and solar winds interact just beyond the bubble's boundary. These readings, combined with lunar orbital data from the acceleration, reconnection, turbulence, and electrodynamics of Moon's interaction with the Sun, RTEMIS mission, confirmed the shell's distinct signature. It stretches for tens of light years and repels cosmic rays with energies up to a tera-electron volt, which zip through the galaxy but meet great resistance when encountering the bubble barrier. Electron volt, EV, is a unit of energy. A tera-electron volt is one trillion electron volts. For comparison, visible light photons' energies are only about a couple electron volts. So these cosmic rays that get stopped by the bubble are extremely energetic and potentially quite harmful. The total energy from one cosmic ray can pack the same punch as a tennis ball traveling at 100 miles per hour, explains Offer. And over the Earth's history, these cosmic rays have bombarded its atmosphere constantly. So having the localized bubble as cover is quite beneficial. It's our solar system's umbrellas, basically. How exactly does this umbrellas work? The shell seems to be made of sizzling hot plasma, charged particles from hydrogen and helium atoms. This plasma gets blown out from the sun in solar winds. It takes about 400,000 years for solar wind particles to reach the bubble's edges. Once there, they accumulate into a dense barrier against incoming cosmic rays. It's incredible! The sun's own atmosphere protects us in this way, says Offer. The solar wind particles become confounded and tangled up by the interstellar medium. You end up with this hot plasma wall that absorbs or bounces away a lot of radiation. Scientists think the bubble likely contains neutral forms of hydrogen and helium too, judging by how intergalactic cosmic rays get attenuated. There are probably also trace amounts of ionized neon and oxygen spread through it, but the predominant ingredients are diffuse swaths of charged hydrogen and helium particles drifting along magnetic field lines. The thickness of the shell is estimated to be tens to hundreds of astronomical units. One astronomical unit, HAL, is the distance between Earth and Sun, about 150 million kilometers. So hundreds of all means the breadth of this bubble is truly astronomical. But how did it come to form in the first place? 
The origins of the bubble can be traced to the death throes of giant stars in our galactic vicinity. About 10 to 20 million years ago, several supernovae detonated nearby, clearing out the area that would become the local bubble. Supernovae are huge explosions accompanying the endpoints of massive stars. The intense shockwaves from these ancient stellar deaths pushed interstellar gas and dust far away in all directions, creating a cavity surrounded by dense walls of material. Our nascent solar system was just forming at the time. The shockwaves from the supernova triggered portions of the solar nebula, the disk of gas and dust encircling the young sun, to collapse inwards and form the outer planets, as well as the Kuiper belt objects like Pluto. The supernova essentially compressed surrounding material inwards onto the early solar system and ignited planet formation. So, in a sense, we owe the very existence of Earth to them, says Offer. Once the stellar explosions ceased, the region began cooling and expanding, forming the giant bubble structure observed today. The exploding stars also produced copious high-energy cosmic rays, which now careen across the galaxy, but hit the brakes when they get near the bubble boundary. The cosmic rays move very quickly, near light speed. When they try to penetrate the bubble, it's like running into a submarine net. They get forced backwards, explains Offer. Astronomers think the bubble has survived for so long because the density of material inside is exceptionally low. With minimal particles between star systems, there are no obstacles to produce friction or drag against the bubble's expansion. Going forward, studying the bubble's interaction with cosmic rays should provide insights about the interstellar medium and particle acceleration throughout the Milky Way galaxy. Scientists also want to see whether other stars have similar bubble environments. Stellar winds from young stars may produce small versions of these protective plasma sheets. The detection even raises speculation about alien civilizations. Could extraterrestrials hypothetically build technology to augment this protective bubble for their own planet? That's complete conjecture at this point, last offer. But who knows, maybe if alien engineers could artificially thicken the plasma buffer, they'd shield themselves from even more cosmic radiation. Given enough energy, it may not be impossible. Our own civilization can still derive great benefit from the bubble's natural fortification. The Earth and other solar system worlds would likely experience much harsher radiation environments without its permeable barrier diluting and deflecting cosmic rays. The bubble reduces the radiation dose to Earth by a substantial factor, says Offer. It's an extremely good shield. For now, astronomers are ecstatic to finally have proof of the solar bubble's existence. This discovery will guide deeper investigation into the dynamics and material attributes of interstellar space in our stellar neighborhood. Just understanding the local bubble's scale as hundreds of all wide was unknown before. Centauri Dream's researcher Simon Gorno describes it as the first observation of the edges of the solar system. This is an incredible milestone for solar astronomy and space physics. We can now start directly probing how the sun interacts with its environment up to its very edge. A true landmark achievement. The sun's sphere of influence far exceeds the regions of our solar system containing the planets. Growing knowledge of the heliosphere boundary and surrounding interstellar medium will enhance modeling of the sun's environment. This will yield ever more accurate space weather predictions to safeguard astronauts, satellites, and technological infrastructure. As Offer concludes, we've confirmed the bubble surrounding our sun is very real. It's humbling to finally see the edge of our solar system and know how far the sun's protection extends. This work is just the beginning, though. It opens up a new field of heliospheric exploration that will keep us making new discoveries for decades. The discovery of our solar system's protective bubble marks a major leap forward in our understanding of the sun's domain. As astronomical techniques improve, scientists are excited to probe the bubble boundary further and unravel more of its mysteries. For now, it's incredible to behold that our tiny oasis of life in a galaxy has this immense, invisible shield enveloping it. The sun watches over its family of worlds in many inspiring ways. This cosmic bubble is perhaps its most grand protective embrace yet. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos.